Today we're going to talk about the demand curve. We always say in AP Micro that an increase in income increases the demand for a good, but we don't know why. We just say it's intuitive. So what I've done up here is I've drawn a budget uh, constraint curve that compares X1 to X2. And I'm going to assume that the amount of income M is equal to $5, and that the price of good one, which is X1, equals a dollar, and the price of good two equals a dollar. So that would mean then that if a person had $5 to spend, that if I divided uh, the income by the price, that person could buy five units of good X or X1 and five units of X2. Now suppose that the uh, income of the uh, consumer goes up to 10. Well, assuming that the prices stay the same, now they can buy 10 of each good. So if I now move their budget constraint curve to the right, you can see that they are now able to afford more of X1 and more of X2. On their original budget constraint, this consumer purchased two of X1 and three of X2. But just suppose that now their income is equal to 10 and now they consume five of X1 and five of X2. This shows that as the income increased from $5 to $10, the amount that the consumer consumed of X1 and X2 went up. Since they both went up, both of these goods, X1 and X2, are normal goods. That concludes today's lecture. Join me at www.microeconomics.blogspot.com.